Good Monday evening, everyone. Looking at our forecast for tonight. First of all, be very careful if you're out and about tonight. Not for any kind of wintry precipitation, but for fog. It is very foggy. I drove back from Cookville this evening, and um, I can't remember the last time I've driven in fog that dense. It was terrible. Looking at our freezing rain potential for Tuesday morning, it looks like all of us in Cumberland County, all of us in Putnam County, Wyatt County, Van Buren County, we're going to be fine. Most, if not all, of Fentress County and Overton County and Pickett County will be fine as well. The only concern is that as temperatures drop tonight, there could be some colder spots, especially in the in the little valley areas, as we call them. The, you know, we say we have the hills and hollers of the Cumberland Plateau. Down in those hollers of northern Fentress County, northern Overton County, Pickett County, there could be some pockets of areas that may be around freezing. So just be mindful of that if you're traveling in that direction or if you live there, there could be a little bit of a glaze of ice in those isolated locations. The much greater potential for freezing rain tonight and tomorrow morning is to our west, back around Nashville. Could drop as far south as Murfreesboro but in Lebanon, but points north of there, getting closer to the Kentucky border, is where your greater risk for freezing rain will be on Tuesday morning. Wednesday morning, many more of us are in this threat. I think all of Putnam County, all of Overton County, all of Fentress County, most if not all of Cumberland County, most if not all of White County. If I could modify this map at all from last night's update, <clears throat> it might be to drop the 32 degree line a little farther south. I don't see myself raising it farther to the north. This continues to not look like an ice storm. This looks like a glaze of ice, a tenth of an inch or less. That will not cause widespread power outages. That will not cause tree damage, but it will possibly cause some very hazardous roadways. I know crews have been out treating the roads already. I think they were treated from on the interstate all the way from Crossville to Cookville this evening. But um, just be mindful of that when you're out in about Wednesday morning or late Tuesday night, even after midnight Tuesday, um, you could be dealing with some slick roadways. The temperature should start rising above freezing sometime Wednesday morning. It depends on what guidance you go by. That could be sunrise. That could be as late as 10, 11 a.m. Um, I'm playing it. I'm playing the caution card and saying, you know, anything before 10 a.m. Wednesday could be trivial. So especially across Ventures County, Overton County, you all be slower to warm than those of us a little bit farther south. So just be mindful that very treacherous driving is possible, especially on bridges and overpasses. And uh, any treatment that's been added to the road could be washed off by rains before the temperature drops below freezing. So just keep that in mind. Don't put too much faith in that treatment. It helps, but it might not be enough to save us from all the slick spots, <clears throat> especially on the back roads. So due to the increased risk for freezing rain, freezing drizzle, you know, it could just be drizzle, but that's all we need to freeze on the roadways to make them slick. My confidence in a snow day on Wednesday would be up to 70% now. So I've raised that from 50 originally to 60, now to 70. So uh, we'll just see how it goes. The uh, main caveat might be in the forecast, just how much it precipitates. Does it precipitate enough to cause problems? I think it will. Um, so let's just be mindful of that. And, um, and then we'll see more rain on Wednesday and Wednesday night, it looks like. But that will be, <laughs> it's going to be cold rain. But it looks like temperatures will stay above freezing. And then uh, looking for a big warm up next week. And we won't have any winter weather worries to worry about once we get past all of this. I don't know about you all, but I'm kind of ready for a warm up. This uh, this freezing rain stuff is uh, is for the birds, as they say. So <clears throat> I'll be watching it all, folks. I'll be keeping a very close eye on it all day tomorrow. Winter weather advisories are forthcoming from the National Weather Service in Nashville. They have mentioned that numerous times. They're just waiting to get past tonight's event for them because it could be a very slick morning commute for Nashville, that is for sure. So their focus is on that heavily populated area over there and whether or not Lebanon will get it or Murfreesboro. So they got some big population centers um, to worry about tonight and tomorrow morning. And then they're going to start focusing on all of us for a potential winter for a winter weather advisory that'll be issued tomorrow. And I'll let you know when that's issued and what their thoughts are on that. You just keep it all right here at meteorologistmark.com.